Hey you guys, Karen off here. I'm back with another video. Yes, I did say I'm back with another video. I apologize for the bad lighting. Like, I didn't even feel like setting up my ring light. I just wanted to do a mukbang and a story time for you guys. I don't know what story I'm going to talk about, but first, let me get a bite of this taco. I got four beef tacos. So good from the taco truck. I hope y'all can see me because I got the phone like slanted. Like, I'm just tired. But, so, how y'all doing today? I'm doing good. I had a Spanish exam, I made an A, so I'm happy about that. Um, I got the photos back from my um from my photo shoot. I'm just putting some lime on my taco. I got my photos back from my uh photo shoot. And um what else I was gonna say? Yeah, so I'm excited about that. I'm gonna show y'all. Y'all probably gonna see them when everybody else see them. Mm. Mm -hmm. Real good. Real good. Um so, sorry, I'm all over the place with these tacos and that. Mm -hmm. What do I want to talk about? Mm -hmm. Okay, I got it. I'm going to talk about, I guess I'll talk about what high school was like for me, I guess I would say. Um, I went to four different high schools. I mean, that was cool. So I got to experience uh, what different schools was like. And the reason why I went to four different high schools is because, okay, the first high school I went to, um, it was like, it was out of my zone. Like, it wasn't zone to where I live but I was able to go there because I was in this biomedical academy and my friends they were in the well they got accepted into the biomedical academy too so we were all excited because we're going to high school because we were in seventh and eighth grade together and we got to go to high school together like how exciting is that so when we got in the biomedical academy one of the things was you had to make certain grades to stay in the biomedical academy. And I was doing well at first. And then my grades started to go down. But it's not like I just sat up there and fell or whatever the case may be. The problem is when you were in the academy, they made you take honors classes. And it's like. Before high school, I had never taken algebra before. I didn't know what the hell algebra was. I was like, not only do I not know what algebra is, it was just some other shit. Like, it was just, it was foreign to me. I was just like, what? Because it was like, because it was AP. Um... All my classes was AP. I did good in science. I did good in history. But I was spelling English and math. And math's never been my strong suit. But I, I'm good in math. I'm good in English. Well. And. The school I was going to. It wasn't the best school. But it's like. I had special classes because I was in AP, so AP was taught way different from regular. You know, regular, you kind of, the class is kind of going together, but y'all, when I tell you AP algebra, that was like some next level shit, I, I wasn't prepared. If I would have known it would have been that difficult, I probably would have been prepared, but also at the time... I did not have the support I needed in school at all. 
I did not. I was, I was living with my mom, and she wasn't involved in my school stuff, so I was doing my own shit. Waking myself up in the morning, getting ready, getting on the bus, blah, blah, blah. I mean, the thing is, that's what you do in high school, but, like, I don't know. My freshman year, my freshman year of high school, it was really good. But I'm sorry, I said all that to basically say I ended up failing <coughs> uh, algebra and English, which means I got kicked out of the biomedical academy because my grades wasn't up to par. It was so good. So, and if you get kicked out of the biomedical academy, then you have to start going to school that you're zoned to. So, it was just a fucked situation. Um, a lot of people don't know this. Um, but I became very depressed after that, because I feel like if I would have had more support at the time, I would have passed those classes, because there's no excuse. It's really no excuse. Um, I could have passed those classes, but it was just, it was really hard. Like, I remember being in the classroom, like, afraid to ask questions, because everybody was getting it. Um, I just felt... I don't know. And at that point in time in my life, like, I was afraid to ask questions because I didn't want people to think I was stupid. But if I could go back, I would ask so many fucking questions. So many questions. Um, But, yeah, so I had to go to the school. Sophomore year, I had to go to the school that I was on to. I was so depressed. Because my mom... She could have drove me to the school that I was going to before. Although I wasn't zoned there, I could have went there if, you know, she drove me there. The thing is, I wasn't going to be able to, um, as I'm thinking about it, I probably still could have gone to that damn school. I don't know, y'all, but my sophomore year started going to another school and I was just depressed like I wasn't going to lunch I wasn't doing anything at this other school um it was literally only maybe like three high schools in the whole goddamn town so it had the school you was on to and then two other options but I just didn't have the support I needed um, um, at that point, well, I already did want to be down there, but the thing is, I was just making the best out of the situation, because my mom was like, you're not moving, so, yeah, I wanted to move, it just, it wasn't the place for me, like, it was just drama, like, all people like to do is compete and talk shit about each other. Like it just wasn't it just wasn't for me. Uh oh. So I sophomore year I was good in my class good in my classes, but I remember I was failing Spanish. I didn't even care. I didn't even want to go to that class. I went but And at the time, I was dating this dude that went to that school. We were already dating before I started going there. That was the only good thing about it. It's like, I knew a person, but he already had friends. And I wasn't even pressing the issue. I was just like, I don't want to be here. Um, At the time, instead of me, like, complaining to other people, I really just... That's really when I just started, like, praying hard. I didn't know... If I was doing it right or not, I was just like, if there is a God, which I I, I feel like there is a God, um, basically he'll take me out of the situation when, when it's time. But I pray every night and I want to say at this school, I was maybe there for like three weeks. 
a month or so. I don't know. I wasn't even there that long. It's like I was there, but mentally I was not at that damn school. Like, I miss my friends. Like, so much. Because you got to understand, at school, like, I really want some parents to watch this. At school, your kids spend majority of their time. They spend, like, eight hours of the day at school. So, they, you know, you learn so many things at school. Like, school is just so important. That's just, that's a foundation, you know. It's just so important. And it's like, that's why I want to be a parent that actually listens to my child and considers, you know, what they want. Because it wouldn't have hurt it. It wouldn't have hurt for me to stay at that school. Like, why? Okay, I'm not in the biomedical academy, but does that mean I don't have to go to the, I can't go to that school anymore? Like, that was just stupid. And it was just, like, my mom, she just did not want to make any sacrifices. I don't know any sacrifices she made. It's just, you know, I'm older now, so it is what it is. And I don't, I don't hold anything against her. It's just, I wish things would have, would have been different, but everything happens for a reason. And I really feel like God makes no mistakes. And, um, I stayed there for five years and I did not want to be there one bit at all, at all, at all, at all. Um, I did not want to be there. But that's pretty much it, y'all. I ain't got much to say. I finished my tacos. Um, comment down below if you want to know more. What happened after that? Um, how did I end up passing classes and all that other jazz? But bye, y'all.